Some of you may be looking at this thinking, what is this instrument? And what this instrument is, is a needle driver or a needle holder. And it's called the Castro Viejo. Now, this is a commonly used suturing instrument by periodontists. And I don't know about you guys, but I've seen numerous oral surgeons handle tissues. And this isn't a dig against oral surgeons because they're amazing people and they're very good at what they do. But I think if we're going to take any lessons or any tips that we can maybe pull from another discipline into exodontia suturing, you probably want to look to the people who have the utmost respect. In fact, probably unattainable levels of respect for most GPs for the tissues of the mouth. So periodontists use these. Probably we should stop for a minute and wonder why. So why do they use these? Why, what would be the advantage? Well, they have a very simple locking mechanism. So if you listen for a minute, I'm going to click this together. All you do is one click and it's locked. So that's kind of nice. And then the way to unlock it is the same thing. You just push again and it opens. So there's none of that three click stuff like we've got with our needle drivers where you're kind of ratcheting it together and you've got two clicks and then you go for that third one to tighten up a bit on the needle and then it goes too far and opens up again on you. It's a little bit more simplified, so maybe easier to grasp the needle. Now the other thing about it is you typically would hold it kind of like a pen, so just like this. It's smaller in the hand. It allows you way more dexterity. So you can look at kind of how you can control this once you've got the needle in there. It's pretty amazing. So if we look at passing a suture needle through the tissue, we'll grasp that just beneath that swage end. One click locks it. Now you can enter the tissue. Look at just look at the range of motion for a second. Watch that needle. So you can do what is that? Like a full 180 degrees basically without really moving my wrist. Okay. So you can get an entire bite back there through the tissue, maybe easier than you would with your traditional needle driver. Now the other thing is you can go right up here to get that 90 degree entry point into the tissue, which is important. Roll it through and you're going to come out the other side with pretty good accuracy, which again is fairly desirable when you're suturing. So I find sometimes that these might be a little bit better in areas other than perhaps the third molar region because again, a um, little tougher to get back there with this grasp in the back of the mouth, right? But for most other situations, these are a great addition to your armamentarium and you might find that suturing becomes a little more enjoyable and a little easier for you once you have better control over the instrument.